Und, äh, und, oder Members, oder, 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 Members, oder, 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 Members, oder, Take your seats, members. Will you take your seats? Order. Order, members. Order. 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 Will you take your seats, members? Order members. Order of Chumba. Order. Order. Order members. Order. Order members. Order. 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 Order, members, order. Order, members. Will you take your seats, members? Order. Order, members. Honorable, take your seat, honorable senior council. Order, honorable members. Member for Muranga. Member for Gidunguri. You are inviting the chair to exclude you from the house if you continue this rowdy behavior. You are supposed to be honorable members. And you carry honor to this house for the people who elected you, not by shouting. Kofi Annan always said, I have a soft voice with a strong, powerful message. What I'm seeing happening, and some members, like member for Gidunguri, member for Kisumu West, if you continue this rowdy behavior, women rep for Busia, in fact, I have always operated under an illusion that our female colleagues carry greater levels of decency than the male ones. Today it appears to be the total opposite. Let's be orderly. You will make your point through your vote and not through how loudly you shout. Your own children out there are watching you live. Your husbands are watching you live. <laughs> if you continue behaving like that, it is most unfortunate. Otenda Molo, you have two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Two minutes. Mr. Speaker, I must confess that the Honorable Mithika Lintur is my friend, and because he's my friend, that's why I'm supporting this motion. Mr. Speaker, first of all, should the Cabinet Secretary take responsibility for the motion and the issue at hand? The answer is yes. Why? Because we have it on his own authority that he's supposed to. The document attached, dated March 24th, signed by him at paragraph 8, page 12, says the Ministry ensures that agricultural produce are of the right quality. It is the Ministry. Who is the head of the ministry? The cabinet secretary. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, secondly, should we defeat the motion so that the agriculture committee completes its work? The answer is no. Why? A select committee under Article 152 is superior and has a very clear timeline than the agricultural committee. It only has 10 days. 
So all the reasons adduced in defense of the cabinet secretary should be adduced to that select committee. If you believe the minister is without culpability, support the motion so that we have that committee so that it says the minister is not culpable. What we are dealing with is more than criminal responsibility. What we are accusing the minister is what we call culpable maladministration. Someone has to take police, political responsibility. If we don't go as high as the president, we must go as high as the minister. Mr. Speaker, we speak for the Mira farmers of Meru, for the coffee farmers in central region, for the tea farmers and the maize farmers in the Rift Valley region. And that is the club, that is the, you know, that's the area that feeds this whole country. If we, as a national assembly, cannot speak for them, who will speak for them? The president could have saved us this and sacked the minister. But because he has not, we must stand up to be counted. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Order, you only donated to two members. Honorable Speaker, I beg your indulgence. I will not indulge you. Can you reply? <coughs> Sarah was my second. I will not indulge you, either for faith, your time, or reply. Honorable Speaker, and Honorable Nabi is my uncle, a curse may befell me, Honorable Speaker. Just one minute. Either you reply <coughs> or you take your seat. Honorable Speaker, I want to implore to this house again, once again. Honorable members, we are people's representatives. We were voted by farmers who cannot even afford a meal. Honorable members. Honorable Speaker, my heart goes to those women in the villages who are watching us now on, 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 on TV, who went to buy fertilizer and turned out to be fertilizer gushi. Honorable members, kindly, it is not about Kenya Kwanzaa, it is not about Azimio. It is a moral question. We are not targeting the Meru community, honorable members. Members, you would understand this is not the first scandal that has, uh, uh, that has fallen at the feet of this minister. We had wrong sugar. Honorable Speaker, we had contaminated sugar released for public consumption, for crying out loud. For how long do you want the members of the public to suffer so that as a house we act? Mithika is a minister. They went and imported sugar that was contaminated, that was not good, that was not fit for human consumption. It went to the people. Cancer cases are now very high. There is a close relationship between cancer and contaminated sugar, edible oil. For when are we going to stand for our people, honorable members? I beseech you, I beseech you as your colleague, that let's listen to the suffering of the Kenyan people, of the Kenyan